Hey there, YouTube. You'll have to excuse my raspy voice. I've got a cold and I'm dealing with that right now. Um, check this groovy sheet here. This is an old Econolite control products. Um, I have a whole book of these. This is probably from at least sometime during the 80s, I guess. I don't know. Um, grid paper, sheet paper. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you today about is uh, traffic signal phasing. You may find some other videos on the internet. They come in handy. Um, but uh, just for the sake of explaining it to you, I decided I would go ahead and make a little video. Uh, signal phasing is um, about as bare bones basic as it can get with uh, what's important uh, to talk about with signals. So let's see here. I'm going to start drawing an intersection. Okay. We're going to draw a very basic intersection. Just like this. Okay. And I recommend that if you're at home, you do the same. Go ahead and make a practice of this, drawing out an intersection and start to try and do it on your own um, without, uh, without the video, I guess. Now, um, we're going to need a compass okay, for the intersection. So what we'd like to do is draw an N for north. And so that would indicate that this direction headed that way is northbound. Okay? And then, obviously, southbound eastbound, westbound. <clears throat> so, um, we know at a standard intersection, right, an eight phase intersection, we have a left turn, we have a through phase, then we have another left turn, then we have another through phase, then we have another left turn, and then we have a through phase, and once again, left turn, through phase. Okay? All right. Now, uh, different municipalities will um, change the way that the phasing is done. Uh, some some uh, municipalities, state municipalities. North and south is always phase two and six. East and west is always phase four and eight. Um, here, uh, where I work, um, it doesn't matter. The main street is typically phase two and six. Um, and when I say main street, that is usually, you know, the main boulevard where all the vehicles are coming and going. Um, that's where most of the traffic is rather than the side street. The side street's usually the neighborhood. The main street is how you get down to the supermarket. So, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to say phase two, okay, phase two is southbound. And phase six is northbound. Yeah, I shouldn't have made that so big because that's a different phase for my left turn there. Okay, phase four is westbound. Phase eight is eastbound. Okay, now left turn phases are totally different. If we're separating our left turns, we're going to have a protected left turn or a protected permissive. We need to know what phase those are going to be. So here, let me scoot this up a little bit here. Okay. So one thing that somebody told me a long time ago that just clicked um, was 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, I'm just going to write it here just to remember. Okay. 7 11 okay and all this is about is the total okay for the main street should come out to 7 and the side street should come out to 11 and that being said 
uh, I'm going to fill out the rest of the phases here, just so that you can understand. Phase one is the northbound left turn. Okay. Phase three is going to be the eastbound left turn. Okay. Phase seven is going to be westbound left turn. And phase five is going to be our southbound left turn. Okay. Notice on the main street, five and two totals seven. Okay. Six and one totals seven. Okay. And then on the side street, four and seven total 11. That was my battery running out soon. It's fine. 20%. We're still okay. Eight and three total to 11. So the main street, the phasing totals to seven. The side street totals to 11. And the only reason why this is important is it kind of just helps you remember how the phases kind of all come together. I know just because I've been doing this for some time that phase two and phase five are southbound movements or are um, from the same approach. You know, this is the southbound left turn and this is the southbound through lane because this is phase two, this is phase five. Now, are there instances sometimes where we use different phasing? Yes, but I'm not really going to discuss all of that in this particular video because it, it's just misleading and doesn't really make much sense. Um, but the most important thing uh, with f signal phasing um, is that some phases can run together and some phases can't. And so I'm going to create a second video here uh, talking about ring and barriers. Um, there's other videos, once again, uh, pr people who probably explain them better and more clear than I would, but this is a basic intersection. We know that northbound and southbound can run together, right? We know that a northbound left turn and a southbound left turn can run together. We know that a northbound left turn and a northbound through can run together. But not necessarily if the southbound has a green. We can't have a green arrow here telling cars to make a left when there's a southbound. So this is all very important to know, especially when you're programming a, a conflict monitors or you know signals or even just talking about signal phasing, as you need to know what is concurrent Ugh, not enough room. Concurrent. What can run together? Okay. So we know phase three and phase seven are concurrent. We know phase four and phase eight are concurrent. And basically, what is the opposite of a concurrent in this particular situation? conflict. A conflict would be phase four and phase three, or a uh, phase eight and a phase six. Very bad. If those came up at the same time together, we would have um, a horrible collision, um, and uh, that's why we have conflict monitors at an intersection, and that's why we uh, certify them once a year is uh, because we need to make sure that it's working properly and, and uh, on the up and up. Thank you very much for watching the video. Like, subscribe, and then hit the bell, I guess. I think you're supposed to hit the bell. I don't know. You know, there's always more things to hit. Now, I guess I need to specify whether or not these videos are for children or not. Do you guys think these videos are for children? I don't know. I don't think I say swear words or anything, but... Um, do kids want to learn about traffic signal phasing? Maybe. But it's not really kids' videos, I guess. I don't know. Uh, YouTube's weird. Thank you. Catch you guys later. Bye.